an uneventful morning. It rained most of last night, and it's not exactly the warmest because it's already like three o'clock. So there wasn't many yard sales. So I was hanging out watching some YouTube and a Facebook Marketplace. I always check Facebook Marketplace as often as possible. There is a PS3 that popped up for 100 bucks. So, you know, I'm going to click on it and see if the game's worth grabbing it. The first screen, it had some PS3 games, nothing crazy, and one or two PS1 games. I was like, oh, the PS1 games are nice and electric in the description. It said PlayStation 3 with PS3, 2, and 1 games. So it's like, awesome. And I noticed there were several photos. So I scroll over, and the next photo is PS2 games. Once again, nothing crazy. But you know, like a couple decent titles in there. So I'm like, okay, this is starting to turn into a pretty decent lot for 100 bucks. One of those situations where before I got to the PS1 games, I'm like, maybe they'll be a little flexible. I mean, kind of go from there. And then I saw the PS1 games, and I saw two games in particular, and I was like, I have to have this lot. So I messaged them. I said, hey, I'm in the same town. I'll come pay your asking price, and I'll come right now. No response. Well, in, in my area, in Cincinnati, if you hunt in Cincinnati, you know that if something has hit Facebook Marketplace for longer than five minutes, there's already several people messaging them. So I messaged them again and said, hey, I even do 140, and like I said, I'll come get it as soon as you want me to. And no response. Give it a few minutes. So I'm sitting there <laughs> watching YouTube, still having a ton of anxiety, like, oh, please, 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 please. Then they messaged me and they said, hey, you're the first to respond, but I have an offer of 160. Can you beat it? And I was like, yeah, I'll do 180. I mean, that's perfectly fine. You never like paying more than the asking price, but I already started basically offering more than the asking price. The price is worth it. And they said, yeah, okay, I'll do it. So then I hop in my car, I speed across town to get here because I, if you've been hunting long enough, you know that even if someone agrees to the price, that they can get messages saying, hey, I'll pay this, I'll pay that. I had one deal when I was going somewhere to pick it up. It was like 45 minutes away, and the price changed three times on the way because people messaged them. Always recommend to ask them to mark it pending, which they did, but still, there's always a chance, for example, like the guy who offered 160 offers more. But there's two games alone in this lot that absolutely blow that out of the water. And let's see, can we get one of them on camera right now? Uh, it's a little way. So when I get home, I'll show it to you, but Put in the comment section below. What do you think it is? I'll give you a hint. It's not horror and it's not an RPG. But 100 plus title, $100 plus titles for PS1. So let me test your knowledge real quick. Comment below what you think it is. Let's see if you're right. All right, guys. Back home. Went over the big lot. Unfortunately, a ton of games were missing. There's a box full of cases. There's uh, some sports games in there that I just kept in there. But a lot of cases only. Or case me as long. This wasn't photographed, but this was in here. But unfortunately, I don't want to spoil the ending. It is case and manual. So, oh, jeez. With higher dollar games, cases and manual still sell. I haven't looked this up, but this game goes for about 100 So I can probably get 15 20 bucks out of the case and manual. So not too bad there. There's a toss-in. Also, the PS3 is in the car. Uh, there was two controllers. There was only advertised as one, so two controllers was nice. So there was a few things that made up for some of it. Let's go over some of the stuff. Uh, sadly, a lot of the games are missing me. It's to like Bomberman World, Ape Escape, Crash Bandicoot Warped, all missing manual. But some decent titles. You have Crash in there also, Toy Story 2, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Team Racing. PS3, you got mainly filler. Uh, best probably value title in here is Head Coach 09. Or Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. They're both $15, 20 games. I think Project 8 may be similar to PS2 games. The SpongeBob titles are decently solid. Uh, NFL Streets, not bad. Soul Calibur, Jack and Dexter, Tony Hawk, Need for Speed Underground. Looney Tunes Back in Action, kind of a bad game. But I remember getting it young and playing it and, and at least enjoying it then. So I have some nostalgia for it. Need for Speed Out Pursuit 2, Twin Sanity, some more Streets. SSX, Tony Hawk American Wasteland, Breaking the Rules. Also, a lot of the stuff I'm going to have to resurface or get paid or pay somebody to resurface. I don't currently have a resur resurfacer, so that kind of sucks. But and then some loose stuff. We have Walt Disney's Magical World Quest Racing Tour. For whatever reason, I always find this loose Spire of the Dragon. Uh, there was Gix 3 in there. And Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. 
And then the two games that made me instantly want this lot, I was so disappointed when I saw this was Missing Mania because my original goal was to keep this, the other game, and sell everything else to make my money back. Uh, with this Missing Manual, I'm not going to be keeping it. It is original back case, though. I'm going to test it and see if it works, but it needs resurfaced. PS1 games can take a beating, but it's taken a beating, so uh, it may not work now. Even resurfacing it should make it work. Uh, this is not too far off the deep end. And then the game I'm keeping for sure, Tomba 2, The Evil Swine Return. This one I was so happy to see complete. Um, the disc on this isn't the greatest, but it's not, it's not as bad as Tomba 1. So that one should work now, no matter what. So in value, guys, if I t put in the total value, I put in just some of the stuff. Um, came out to like 451. That's not factored in a lot of these games. Um, a PS3 and two controllers and see a basketball case. I'd say a solid bet of like six six to fifty six six fifty. Um, I did pay 180. A lot of the stuff is gonna be harder stuff to sell, like Bomber World World, Ape Escape. Those are some good games. They're kind of harder to sell, missing manual. And a lot of the stuff I'm gonna need to get resurfaced, like those do need resurfaced. Um, so there will be some more out-of-pocket expenses, but still not a bad deal. At the end of the day, I'm going to keep Tampa 2. Uh, keep some filler stuff here that it's not really worth my time to sell. And then sell everything else. Make my money back and then some. So not a bad lot, especially on a slow day. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So I did make a rather large large, large, large GameStop order. And a lot of it's like new PS5 games. And I know that when you order new games through the website, a lot of times you have better luck. So... Trying to see how many of these clearance PS5 games we can get sealed. Well, they ship them sporadically, and I got the first one today. Avoid Terrarium. Unfortunately, it is not sealed. It is in decent shape, though, but it kind of looks... I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like the case has been, like, super pressed in. may just be me, though, but first game of that order has got here today. Um, frustrating thing about it so far is one of the games order was just a common game i just went ahead and did it it was a mlb the show 22 which is a game that most game stops in the area have in stock and it still hasn't even like prepared to ship um and it's been four or five days so that one i may just end up canceling and just going in the store and picking up a copy because that's super annoying i figured i'd get it you know wait a couple days but just knock it out of the way but yeah still haven't even like prepared to ship it so Stay tuned, guys. Same day, actually. Just got a few more of the games. Very frustrated. Hard gun. New. No, it's not. This one I did buy pre-owned. It was $3.99, so. Wrestler. New. No, it's not. Foreclosed. New. No, it's not. Dark Alliance. Dungeons & Dragons. New. No, it's not. And it's got damage to the slip, so. Kind of frustrating. So, so far out of the five games that were supposed to be new zero were that's absolutely awesome